So, in this video we are going to learn how to find the pH of a salt. In this case, sodium acetate. 0.1 molar. In order to solve this kind of problems, the first step is dissociation of the salt. This is completely soluble salt, so it goes to ions in the solution. We have the acetate anion and sodium cation. According to the Bernstein and Lowry definition, acetate anion is going to serve as a conjugated base, but the sodium cation is going to be as a pH neutral. It's not going to impact the pH. The impact on the pH is going to be from the acetate anion because it's a conjugated base that comes from a weak acid. So acetate anion are going to react with water molecules to form acetic acid and leaving in the solution OH-, which indicates that we expect a pH higher than 7. Since this is an equilibrium problem, we are going to build the initial change equilibrium table to solve in order to find the concentration of OH- in the solution. So, water is excluded because pure liquids are not placed to the equilibrium constant, to the equilibrium table. So, what we have at the beginning, the salt is completely soluble, so we have 0.1 molar here, the concentration. The concentration of acetic acid at the beginning, we don't have any acetic acid at the initial state. The concentration of OH- minus at the beginning, approximately zero, because some come from the alkalinization of water. 10 to minus 7 molar. It's negligible, but it's there because we are dealing with uh, water solutions. So the change equilibrium is going to shift to the right, minus x, plus x, plus x. Initial plus change step is going to give the equilibrium concentration. Now, uh, the exercise gives us the Ka or the acid constant. But in our case, we want the Kb the conjugated base constant. In order to do that, there is a relation Ka multiplied by Kb equal to 10 to minus 14. This is valid only for the acid and its conjugated base or a base and its conjugated acid. I mean weak base and weak acids. So from here we can find the Kb for the conjugated base, which is So the 10 to minus 14 divided by the Ka, which is the constant of acetic acid. Now we can write the Kb for the conjugated base. Here we have to make a simplification by respecting the rule of 5%. So what do we have? So from here we can find the x that is equal to 7.4 times 10 to minus 6. Who is x? x is the concentration of OH- minus in the equilibrium. So concentration of OH- minus. From here we can find the POH. which is equal to 5.12 and pH is equal to 14 minus pOH. We see that the pH is 8.8, .8, so the pH is basic. Here we have the acid 0.1 molar, the salt again 0.1 molar and the base ammonium hydroxide. Let's start with uh, methyl orange with uh, acetic acid. we see the red color that indicates the presence of the acid. Let's move now to the salt with phenophthalene. We see that the color is slightly pink, but not as intense. Let's move now to see the base with again phenophthalene. we see that the color is way more intense. 
That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.